Hey guys, this is MacApple10256. And what's this? Well, if you've already seen my HTML tutorial, today, basically, I'm going to be speaking about CSS. I made a tweet about this long time ag a long time ago that I was going to do this. But I never really got... I never... So I'm basically just going to turn on my zoom real quick and zoom in. You can use any text editor. Um, I find Text Wrangler a really good one because, hold on one second. <coughs> and a little cough there. So Text Wrangler is a really good one. It works really well. Uh, it can create lots and lots of documents like CSS, HTML, PHP. In fact, if you want a full list, it can do um, assembler, action script, whatever that is, C, C++, CSS, data file, Fortran, Fortran 9x, whatever that is, whatever that is, HTML, Java, JavaScript, JSP, log file, Lua, Markdown, Objective Pascal, Objective C, Objective C++, Preforce Specification, Perl, PHP, Python, Res, Ruby, Ruby in HTML, Software Package Notes, SQL, stuff like that, Strings File, TCL, Text, um, Unix shell script, VBS script, um, vector script, and XML. So it can do a lot of things. Really, a lot of things. Um, so, basically all you have to do if is... Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so, basically all you need to do is for a tag, if you have a specific tag, and each tag of that type, let's say I had multiple paragraph tags. Okay, so I put, hello, hello, my name is Matt. So, for the paragraph tag, I'll just type in P, which is the paragraph tag, open, <coughs> excuse me again, I have a cough, open curly brace, closing curly brace, then hit the tab key on your keyboard, and here's what you get. You get a paragraph tag with some opening. Hold on one second, and I'll zoom in some more. Yeah! Cursor close up! Nah, not that much. Okay, so once you open up an HTML file, basically all you have to do is do the style tag for the type attribute, make it text slash CSS for the rel tag or attribute style sheet for the lang tag or attribute just put CSS. Close it and end it. It has to be both. So once you enter in the paragraph tag, you need need to learn some font. So font family. And this is just like the font tag. And you basically just name a font if it's in um <coughs> if it's multiple words then you put it in quotes. So I'll pick a really good one. If you're on Windows, then you may not want to use this font because I'm not sure if it's supported on Windows. Then you need to learn the font weight. This is like, um, is it bold? Is it italic? Is it normal? I'll keep it at normal. 
Oh, yeah, you have to end all your statements with a semicolon, just so you know. And let's set the... F let's go to font variant later. But font size equals... And, and uh, there's two, thi two ways you can do this. 24 pixels, but this can sometimes not work. So often what programmers do... Like, in Internet Explorer, may not com work completely, so you may need to j use EM. And then, so... <coughs> so there we go. Um, and text... Decoration. This is like, do you want to stripe through it or anything? And you can... Most of the time, it's just underline, and I'll just put none. And there we go. We got a basic th right there, right there. So now let's edit the body tag. And let's put background color. And this may be a very hard tutorial for you to understand, but once you start getting the use of it and really start using it and start appreciating CSS for what it is, you will find this pretty easy. So you can name, there are three ways you can do this. You can type in a name. You can do this. Sure, you can do that. You can do this. Or, you can do this. This is a hexadecimal values of value. I highly recommend using these for very specific colors. But for right now, we're just going to use red. And that's all we want. You can put an image if you want. And if we save this, and if we go to our web browser, and if we reload the page, it'll say, hello, hello, my name is Matt, and it's in the Monaco font. The background color is red. There we go. Now, um, I wonder if this works without the quotes. Yes, it works best without the quotes. The EM only works best without the quotes. Don't put quotes around that. That was my mistake. So 16 pixels is 1 EM. So 2 EM must be 32, so that's why this is so big. Text decoration, let's see, underline. And font weight, let's make italic. I'm not sure if this will work with font weight. No, it didn't. Let's try bold. There we go, it's bold. Now, here's one of my favorite things to do. Make it in small caps. Small caps basically makes the caps small. See that? That's a cool effect, doesn't it? So that's why I love CSS so much. Now, since I have my iPad with me, I'm going to look at some of the really cool um, things you can do. You can do font style. You can do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so I highly recommend you go learn it because it's a great... I use it a lot. It's great. It's awesome. Go... I know this wasn't the best tutorial, but if you... 
seriously, like, if you seriously go out and look at a website, like a real website, you will find that they use this a lot and they really appreciate it. And you should too. So thank you for watching and please subscribe.